friends. Today I wanted to share with you a super quick December TBR. I'm still very much in a slump, so I did pick eight books, but I don't honestly see how all eight books are going to happen unless something magically changes. So at the beginning of the month, I forget the exact dates, I'll leave them linked down below. Uh, it's the Romance Takeover Buddy Readathon number two, or I forget the exact name. Again, link down below. But basically what they did this time is they came up with a bunch of prompts and you just pick the ones that want that work for you or that you want to read. So I have, it's a two week readathon. I picked four books for it, but two of them fit in the challenges and two of them are just ones that I want to get to before the end of the year. So first up is Becoming Rain by K.A. Tucker. This is in her, I guess it's the Burying Water series. I don't exactly know what it is. But I have this one down for a bad boy and an age gap because the hero is involved in like his uncle's criminal business and the heroine is I think an undercover agent. Most successful undercover officer in Washington DC's major crime unit. But she's 26 and it says he's 24 so age gap. Older woman. Did I put? Yes, I did put that. I just didn't get, read that far down. So it's a bad boy. Well, I'm going to count him as a bad boy. It doesn't seem like he actually knows what he's participating in. But so it's a bad boy, an age gap with an older woman. Counting it as that. The next book I have is The One For Me by Corinne Michaels. This, this is in her Arrowwood Brothers series, uh, book number three, I believe. And I need to read this one before book number four comes out in December. So for this one I have Tortured Hero because this series is about a group of brothers who were abused as children and it's really affected their romance lives. Their lives honestly but particularly their romance for the books. And then a five star prediction because Corinne Michaels knows how to write a really good story while sprinkling in a lot of emotion and I really enjoy those types of books so I really think it's going to be nice. This one I believe is... Her name's not. There's a typo on the back of my book. Her name is Devney, and on the back it says D E N V E Y. Denvy. Anyway, yeah, this one they've been best friends, and he's home for his. They have to like stay at their fa their father's house for six months in order to inherit the land. Um, let's see, I think she's, I think she was engaged at the end of the last book and that was when he kind of like decided his feelings were real or whatever. But yes, I think this one is going to be a five star. I hope it's going to be a five star anyway. And then the last two books that I'm going to try to read for the romance takeover are just two that I want to get to before the end of the year. I want to finish this series. Um, hopefully on one of my like sets of days off I can just like binge through this. That is The Sea Witch and Queen Takes Rose by Katie Robert. Books five and six in the Wicked Villain series and I just want to finish the series out. I want to go like just I want to know. So I can, honestly, so I can continue on to other Katie Roberts series, but. So for the rest of the month, I'm going to try to do the Create Your Own Holiday Adventure Readathon. I'll leave all that information listed down below as well. Um, I chose the Kid at Heart path. Um, they have like four different paths on their board. I chose the Kid at Heart just because it seems like the most fun to me. First challenge for Kid at Heart is Frosty the Snowman, Snow on the Cover. And for that, I went with A Seduction at Christmas by Kathy Maxwell. And there's not snow on here, but there's snow in the step back. Snow. So, we're gonna count that. Um, I think this one is, she is desperate for money and tries to, she becomes part of its plot to like take the duke down or whatever, but they end, he ends up having to like protect her for some reason, I think. I don't know. I don't quite understand what's going on in the synopsis of this. The next space is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Uh, read a book with red on the cover. And for that I've picked a new release that came out in November and that is Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer. The letters are kind of like a pinkish red and I think that's... there's a red heart. 
a red heart and a red book. And I think his flip-flops might be red, too. But this is a, like I said, it's a new release. I believe it's kind of a, I think somebody mentioned a magical realism. I don't necessarily know a lot about that genre. But Prudence is the, ooh, shiny. Prudence is the main character, and she somehow gets this ability to cast instant karma on people. But, what's his name? But her lab partner, Quint, is somebody who her, like, abilities do not work on. And they start working at a, a rescue shelter, I think? I don't know what it was. They start working outside of lab together for some reason. The next prompt is Jingle Bells, uh, read a travel book. And I may be stretching this one a little bit, okay? I may be stretching it, but I really need to read A Heart So Fierce and Broken by Bridget Kimmer. And I think, like, I know at the end of book one, this book two in the Curse Breaker series, I know at the end of book one, Gray was on the run. I think he still is in this one. <clears throat> so, technically, he's traveling. We're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. And finally, the fourth prompt is Santa Claus is coming to town. Choose a naughty or nice hero. I think I chose a nice hero. <laughs> I think. Um, I chose Bittersweet by Serena Bowen. I want to go ahead and get started on the True North series. I don't know much about this series, honestly, and even though everyone loves it, I've always avoided listening to people talk about it because I knew I would want to read it someday. The day has finally arrived. He's a farmer. He's taken over the family business. Um, she's working at some type of restaurant conglomerate. And she needs, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. But I picked, I picked him as a nice hero because it says he uh, finds her stuck in a ditch. And they were old hookups. So I figure if he's going to stop for a car stuck in a ditch, he's going to be a nice guy. So that is my December TBR. Hopefully I can get to at least most of them. Uh, what are you reading for the month? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.